chips now. If you feel, oh, and John's gone. Okay. John. All right. John passed out. This is this John. is it's it's literal cats. Like I I can't keep them in one room at one time. It's, um. Uh, except for Sadie, she sat there quietly and attentive the entire time. Thank you, Sadie. Well, hi, hello, everyone. Welcome to Rico Live. Yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of drunkenly well, thank you, Ron. wander thank you for through waiting. the waiting for me. threshold here. I mean, I've been waiting. Oh, have you? Uh -huh. yeah. okay. well, let's not show a bunch of excitement now that I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ron, no, go, ahead and, go ahead and get this started. Okay, yeah. Let's start over. Just no, we can't hear. We can't hear. Right, we, Dave, we'll... Dave's having technical difficulties. Oh, Dave, your mic's muted. I can see the red your, light. Your mic's muted on your headset. <laughs> Dave? No, no, it's still, no. It's still muted. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. <laughs> How's that? Oh, there we go. That's perfect. All right, guys, let's All try right. this again. Live All in right. three, two, two, one. one. Reaper. <laughs> Can I eat my chips now? No. Where we discuss we sex, drugs, and rock down. and roll. What do you mean I got to put the chips down? It's dinner. Man, that's lunch and dinner. All right. Try this again. Uh, Hi, everybody. We're on. The show we blend painting, game, and geek culture. God, uh, all for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> Here we are. Biggest How dated is that? <laughs> on Twitch. Thank um, you, yeah. Eris Gal, by the way, for the gift bomb. Um, hey, so anyway, yeah, here we are. Thursday night. Here we are again. There's you. We're live. Yep. Say hello to Ed, Sadie, Dave, and John. Everybody uh, say okay. hello. And uh, yeah. Credit? The second week in a row, we almost started almost on time. It's very, very Almost. Fun. Pretty good. Pretty good for us. Not bad. You know what's funny is we were doing the countdown to start the initial time, and Ed's uh, camera came live. We were going to start this without Ed. So I can't believe it. And you weren't even going to, like, text me and say, hey, did you forget? I was tied up in that meeting, the Australia meeting. So, anyway. I, oh, well, well, I thought you'd been in an accident. I was worried about you. Now, if I'd been in an accident, you'd see the smoke fire. So. <laughs> so, go ahead. Well, it's been a busy, busy week, of course. Check out your bingo card. There we go. It's been a busy week. Um, um, let's talk about what we've been doing. Here we go. All right, Ed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How busy was it? <laughs> um, I got to go research my Johnny Carson jokes and see if there's a, uh, a busy, uh, how busy was it joke. I don't oh. know. Pretty busy. There's got to be something in the Carson library that tells where he talked about how busy things have been. Um, but let, let's just let's do our thing. Ed, did you bring – you got a box in, in, via UPS today. Did you bring that home to show? These? Yeah. Uh, yeah, those. Let's show those. those. Those are awesome. Yeah. Well, damn, that's my entire – this is all I did. I can just get off the show after this. <laughs> oh, no. This is the new – this is the new uh, – mail. yeah, get – well, I don't know if it's going to – Justin, can camera. you enlarge it? Yeah, there you I'll, go. I'll enlarge it. I'll enlarge Ed. Wow. There we go. As you can tell, they're blurry like this when they print, and they go on the bottle, yeah. so they'll be blurry. New paint but as you can see, there is. It's our first four-color, barcoded, printed, done. Let's see if I can get that to come in. That's information there on the back. It's not white. But it's maybe put your, put your hand behind yeah. it, maybe. Like that trick. I get too much light there. Yeah, yeah you're, too much. your camera's on full automatic, so it's it's fine. So anyway, but yes, that's been a, that's been one of the projects that's been going on now for six weeks, I guess, to go through all of the steps it took to get to that, and now we're done. So now it's just the hard part starts now. We got to find a place to store it. And we got to get to start getting them in and start cycling them in, and it's going to be fun. It's been long overdue. Yeah. So very very good. Improving over the old label. Um, they're they're glossy. They're really nice. So, what I did been working on. We've been we've been pulling boxes this week or assembling subsets. For who wants to take it? That was a segue. Oh, for me? No, it doesn't matter. It's uh, who wants to say it? Oh, Ripcon. Ron. There says. we go. Ripcon live. All right. Yes. R Even Ron. Ron has been on the floor working. Yeah. <gasps> I to show off the thing you got there, Ron. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, I mean, as long as it doesn't break 2S, you can do it, Ron. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. They do. That yeah. looks really yeah. well. Hey, Ed, I sent you a text. I don't have a phone. No. Okay. Buy my box. Well, I'm going to put a link in chat. It. Uh, I have a link in chat of a YouTube video of our very oh, wow. own uh, bird with a brush, Rhonda Bender. Mm -hmm. was, uh, she did an unboxing video of the swag box. So yeah. I'm going to put yeah, the link you. inside of chat. Uh, you guys can go watch it after the show. Don't, don't, don't go watch it now, but watch it after the show. There's the link. You guys can queue it up in your, in your browser. Yeah. Rhonda got, I sent Rhonda and, uh, uh, some of our, uh, uh, core, uh, artists, uh, some uh, swag box in advance, and so Rhonda made a like John said an, un an unboxing video. Where's the link, John? You can put in chat. I have it in chat. I have it in chat. We I can watch chat. it very thoroughly as Rhonda does. She's very thorough about everything she does. Um, and there's a drinking game with her video that she said she she didn't do this intentionally, but after when she was editing it, she decided every time she says the word um, you take a drink. Okay, so. By the end of the 15 minutes, you should be wasted. Um, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. Adrian watched it. Too. That was really great. So uh, thank you, Rhonda, for posting that uh, swag box unveiling video. Um, I'm going to open these here later on and show you guys what's inside. And and then if you get one that's been opened, you're like, oh, man, mine's been opened. And Ron tampered with it. I'm going to put something special. <laughs> yeah, Proctor. Proctor says he's already drunk. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put something special in each each of these three boxes from my desk. Something something special. I don't know what it is yet. Could be a bottle of Purell. Could a be, used hanky. Uh, <laughs> it could be a print of the water scion from Bones 5. I don't know. It could be anything. Could and be everything anything. will be pre-dropped by Ron. Uh, right. Wild could Crazy be. Hungry wants the blinking light. Jar oh, Jeff. Jeff. Mm -hmm. Jeff, ooh, I want the Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a used mask. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But yeah, we'll show. If we get time, if we have time, we'll, let's open one of these boxes and show what yeah. else is in there. We've already hey, we watched Rock Swag Box for the Brian Man box and the other box. We'll take a peek and see what's in there. What uh, are we giving away tonight, Ron? <laughs> That's a great question. Ed, tell everybody what we're giving away now. Hey, oh, okay. well, I'm guessing. I'm uh, guessing we're, not, we're not. We're not <laughs> doing this again. Pause. <laughs> We're giving away one airbrush and fifteen twenty dollar gift cards. Move on. That's there what I was getting ready to say. Perfect. That's what I was there at the meeting. Oh, okay. Hey, then. <laughs> so one airbrush, not just an airbrush, a Reaper Vex airbrush. Airbrush. That's right. Also, Damn. to that end, we haven't shipped the ones from last week because I'm still waiting on some information from Ken. I've emailed him, um, but they will ship next week whether I get the info or not. So, which is basically disassembly and assembly instructions. But if you've ever worked an airbrush, I mean, it's it's straight up simple. But next week they will ship. So I needed uh, – Lauren wanted to make sure I tell everybody mm -hmm. that. That's the five from last week. And also, then this one will obviously go for next – that will go ship as well. Yes, in, also what? In regards to the giveaways, there is two different keywords to enter because these are separate. One, we wanted to keep them separate. Um, uh -huh. So hashtag free is the gift cards, and then hashtag airbrush is the airbrush. Well, sure. Which one is which one is hashtag Ed is awesome? Uh, that is, you don't want to know. Well, if Ed has an awesome one, I want an awesome one. Oh boy! All right, next next subject, Ron. Go ahead, okay. roll it on. Right. So, uh, Ed, aside from your awesomeness and your paint label, anything else you got to, you want to talk about? No, other than I mean, it's been it's been very productive week. Um, we've got a lot done. The projects are just I don't know. We've just got a lot of stuff going on. That we can, and as we finish these projects, we're going to show them to you. That would be like one of the ones I was talking about. I couldn't talk about was the new paint label bottle. This I wanted to wait until it's done, and then we go. And we have a lot of these kind of things in the process right now. So really, the week though has revolved more around getting the swag boxes ready. Um, there's always last minute items that have to keep showing up and stuff like that, and trips to the store. But anyway, it's very awesome. It's been a really good week. I'm going to put it in the wind column. All right, Sadie? Not a whole lot. Uh, fixing the machine and mixing more brine wind paint. Uh, we're building a whole bunch. This is my second round of paint. And um, 
that's pretty much it. Ed was helping me fix the machine today. It was a lot of fun. It didn't work. It still broke. It came. It, it overflowed a bottle right when I was there. It waited till I was there just to taunt me so that I could see it, and I had to be the one to go interrupt Sadie. I I made an adjustment, uh, so it might be better now. Uh huh. Yeah, I was so busy. I almost cried today, and my boyfriend came in and set up my stream for me. It was very sweet. And then, and then it, the machine overflowed, and Ed was like, "It overflowed," and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." Well. So next one, who's next? John, Dave, Dave, John, John, Dave, Ron. Uh, Dave, Dave. Uh, Is that an let's see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I've been messing with a couple of states concerning sales tax. I'm still messing with them. Uh, we got the uh, trailer inspected and tagged, which was quite an event <laughs> itself. <That> was, yeah. <laughs> hey, Dave, you live in the fast lane, don't you? Damn. I do, man. It's just one thing after the other. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, I transferred money into Ron's account that he immediately spent. And... <laughs> What's the use of saving it? Just spend it. <laughs> and but to that, that end, you got a bunch of uh, sales tax envelopes in from various states. Just because yes. I've been looking for them. Good, good. Glad to hear it. Uh, <laughs> so that was that was kind of my week. You know, just kind of hanging out, drinking some coffee. What? <laughs> I was gonna say you didn't uh, drink coffee. John. <laughs> uh, let me get my notes. Uh, oh. Prepared. Oh. Notes. Um, Damn. Also, yeah, for the for the people, who I, I get here early ask, and I take notes on my. Oh, for for the Go people who uh, who are going to ask in chat, the airbrush, you'll need to claim that when we draw the name, so you can't just enter and then yeah, wander off. Present. So be present to win, guys. Did you get the text, Ed? Okay. I guess. Yes. Not. Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. That's fine. We can show those pictures. Send them to Justin. Yeah. I did. <coughs> okay. So Justin the loves wall. The wall project ends tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is the 7th, so probably tomorrow night is when we're going to close off the wall project. Uh, and then it's probably going to take a couple of weeks, maybe, for them to make the stencil and ship it to us. Uh, so as soon as it gets here, I will spend some time and do the wall project. So that ends tomorrow, so if you haven't signed up for it yet, uh, I will be putting the link on social again uh, later on tonight after the show. What, the border yes, wall? Ed? What is the wall project? So it's the on the outside of the new building uh, in the uh, expansion of the new land. We wanted to involve the community, so I made up a sign-up sheet for everybody to go put what they want to put on the wall, um, and then they we're going to make a stencil. So I'm going to order a stencil, and they're going to make it for us, and then I'm just going to go outside and spray paint on the dock uh, behind the building. Is there yes, still Ed. room to put in hashtag awesome Ed? Yeah, no. I can do that. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> the, the form is still up. You can go put whatever you want, Ed. Um, okay, so that, that ends tomorrow. So I'll be putting up the link again to remind everybody tonight. Uh, we have uh, quite a bit of signatures. Uh, I've gone through and removed some that weren't okay to put on there. Um, also, a lot of people were putting – not a lot of people. I'm sorry. There was a few that were duplicates, so I just removed the duplicates. Um, so I'll put that up later tonight. Uh, I've been working on training sessions with teachers and stuff, so – we're trying to ensure the highest amount of quality and awesomeness and smoothness for ReaperCon. So I actually have a, I have a few tests right after the stream tonight. So uh, that's coming down. Uh, we're going to so be start really, doing some. So you've actually been working. I was going to say, he's I hope, busy. I hope so. Jeez, he's really <laughs> busy. Uh, You're making us look we're bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take We're going to be doing a. We're going to be doing a we're going to be doing a Discord town hall uh, halfway through the month every month. So I'll probably be doing a big voice chat with everybody in the Discord that wants to join. Uh, that way we can talk about uh, stuff that's been going on in the community and kind of what we want to see in the future. Kind of like a town hall kind of situation. Um, and that's about it. Uh, come out and hang out during pink clubs. Um, yeah, we'll be talking about some more stuff here in a little bit, but. I'll, I'll be taking questions in chat, too, so if you guys have any questions, uh, I'll copy them onto my little notepad here, and I'll get to them when I can. So, all right, that's about it for me. Uh, wow. Real quick, Trasharama has a legit question. Uh, who is doing warranty support for the VEX, Reaper or Badger? We do Reaper. Mm. That okay. Badger will have nothing. They, Yeah, they'll just tell you to call us. We do it. Okay. 
that was it. Back to Ron. Good question. All right. So now's the time we go around the horn and tell what we've been talking about what we've been doing this week. Ed, what'd you do this week? <laughs> God, let's see. Oh, There's perfect. been a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> I, I got tired of going to Ron's office because there's so much junk on his desk for him to choose from. I couldn't talk with him anymore. So, uh, well, he's going to yeah. take care of that by putting it in some gift boxes. Some boxes. That's really what he's going to be done is like <laughs> take a corner of his desk and just slide it off into the box. <laughs> Wave it in there. Yeah. Uh, so, Ron, what did you do this week? You never, you never said your part. So, we've been working on these ReaperCon boxes, and um, it, the the original plan was to have these these die cut custom printed boxes, and they were really cool. And um, as things happen, sometimes things just didn't work out, and unfortunately, at the last minute, we had to make a, a secondary plan. So we went with the uh, the labels you see here, which you know I think look okay, right? But yeah. Uh, yeah. if you can imagine this as a custom printed box on all four sides, it looked really cool. But we're going to save those designs, use them next year. Um, but so uh, you, you're going to be able to. So the pre-orders are over on these. So they ended Monday night. Um, once we get the pre-orders assembled and shipped, we're going to add these to the ReaperMini.com or not. So it won't be on the same site. It'll be ReaperMini.com. Those will be probably Probably sometime next week. We'll we'll let you guys know when they do go on sale. We'll give you plenty of warning. Um, we Cindy, should have uh, plenty, of boxes, so don't freak out about them selling out or anything. Like that. Cindy said that if you'll put in there, please, please, Cindy, in your notes, that it'll get sped up. Yeah, really. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so uh, we we uh, managed to wrangle all this stuff together and got it all done and. I said everyone's been out there on the in the floor of the warehouse this week putting these things together. So I had a huge push today as well. So um, you want to open a box or do you want to talk about some more stuff? We'll open up on now. Um, you can open up more later. Oh, uh, while while Ron's opening a box, I have a few questions. So this is from Trauma Hawk. It says, "How to paint club for those that are noobs." So the way that our paint club works right now is that Discord has a limit of twenty five people that can be in a voice chat and share your screens at one time. Uh, you don't have to have a camera and you don't have to have a microphone to participate in paint club. A lot of people just join while they're painting and like listen and watch to see what everybody else is doing. We do have a chat that that goes along with it. So if you just want to type in there, that that's fine with you too. Um, uh, we we have some extra channels as well. If paint club gets too big, we can overflow into that as well. So that that's that's about it for for okay. paint club. It's been a blast. I'm opening this from the bottom so we don't cut through the label on the top. <laughs> So, so he I'm can return it for, for his purchase price. <laughs> That's right. And like I said, I'll be putting something really cool in here. I don't know what it is yet. But is it so the bottom of the box, which was at the, the top, since I'm over, is the first thing is the Brian Moon book, written by Joseph Wolf, edited by Rhonda Bender. This is really cool. Um, lots of cool art on the inside. Really neat. Really cool. Just a Gorgeous. fun little book. Yeah, and it's got you know pictures of uh, the cruise of, and the drunken. Oh, it's, it's a really cool book. Really cool book. Yeah, it turned out really Those good. Those the doxies. It, the yeah the doxies. This is the the this is the uh, the drunken mermaid it talks about the drunken mermaid a little bit. Ooh. So there's that. So there's your and that's a forty eight page book. And then let's see. So speaking of the drunken mermaid, we got <laughs> the mermaid cup. Yep. Mm -hmm. Proctor says, "Go Vanna." Uh, there's your drunken market. <laughs> if you don't want to rinse out of it, you can drink out of it. Whatever you want to do. Okay, I love that color. But don't do both. Yeah, right. So then you have here. Um, you're going to have your two resin minis. You got your Dead Men Tell No Tales by Jason Weeby and The Treasure of Blood Reef by Julie Pepper. This is the octopus versus the pirate mini you guys have seen earlier, and then the uh, the undead pirate king on his throne. So you get both of these guys. Those are going to be in the box. Those are really cool. I'll, Very good. I'll take, did, sorry. I'll take better. I'll take good pictures of those uh, sometime tomorrow, hopefully. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's your gift certificate, your fifteen dollars gift certificate. Now, John, um, remind me to talk about that after we go over the box contents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can explain what's going on. And then you've got the two uh, pirate or the uh, color sets that Sadie's been working so hard on: High Seas Adventure and High Seas Horror. Um, 
You see how I flip those over like that, John? They turned out great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Proud of you. Um, so, uh, these, and these are really fun, really cool colors. And then you've got a little box here that's going to have five miniatures in it. They're going to have um, all the all the crew members. You've got Captain uh, Angelica Fairweather. You've got Kaiser Stedwick from Archley. You've got Raza Twinsight from the Hellrunners. You've got the Brian Townsfolk, the, uh, the fruit seller lady. And then you've got... Oh. oh, sorry. I, I screwed up. I screwed up. Uh-oh. Guess what? This box has an error. This has <gasps> two fruit uh -oh. seller ladies. It's missing. SOD. Yeah, the, the tiefling, uh, the tiefling, or sorry, not tiefling, but the hell, hellborn pirate. So guess I, what? I assembled that one to test you. This was, and I caught it. <laughs> Good job, Ed. So we'll fix this. We'll fix this before we ship it out. And remember, I'm going to give you something, some bonus item off my desk. Um, and then you get... This is a kind of a, a neat little surprise that Adrian wanted to put in here. Pirate booty, uh, snap, pirate themed, and uh, yeah. So I think is that it. Is that it? Is that it? So you get all that stuff in here, all these mini, and um, yeah, this is a cool little box. This is some cool stuff. John, um, let's talk about the the gift certificate. Tell me, okay, uh, tell me what you brought up today, what you and Adrian brought up today, and how we're resolving. Uh, yes, so the gift cards that you get inside of the in, inside of those boxes, the fifteen uh, dollar gift cards and those, they all have codes on them, and those codes are for USD. Uh, we found out that those codes are for USD. So everybody that ordered in the UK and things like that, uh, we have a plan set in place for all those people that ordered from there to kind of alleviate that. Um, so be be looking out for for answer on that on social media. So. That will be posted everywhere, uh, just so you guys can have a, a solution to that. It was kind of a, it felt like a small little oversight uh, when the codes were were made. I think so. Well, we have a plan for that to fix that. So. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So uh, if you're international, and you've got one of these. We'll, we'll get you squared away. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so. The codes will still be good, but we just have a plan to kind of help you with that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Cool. So that's that. And so um, now the swag box is fifty nine ninety nine, I believe. Um, the Brian box, John, help me, one twenty nine ninety nine. Is that right? Uh, I think it was one nineteen. One nineteen. It's something like that. Well, they'll when they go up on the on the website, you'll see. And I believe the the Hobbit box was ninety nine. Someone help me out here. <laughs> uh, uh, one twenty. One forty. Do I hear one fifty? Um, 150. Yeah. Oh, 150. His Gilligan miniature, <laughs> which is, I think, a pretty funny idea. Um, yeah, and then we'll open the Hobbit box here in just a few minutes. We'll go over all the stuff in the Hobbit box. <laughs> is it oh, mispacked as well? Correctly pulled. Um, do what? Is that mispacked too? I, I hope <laughs> not. <laughs> part of the test. Test. You won't know until Ron gets it and then opens it and we'll see. Yeah. If, if I, so we were moving pretty fast, but I guarantee you most of these are going to be correct, okay? Uh, I would say almost all of these are going to be correct. There may be one or two. Mm -hmm. If you get one that's messed up, just let us know. The uh, question, Not questions, but um, help. our customer service. Help at reapermini.com. Uh, Katie yeah. will get you fixed. No problem. Katie will get you squared away. John? Uh, so the prices are the swag box is fifty nine ninety nine, so 60 bucks. The mm -hmm. hobby box is 100 bucks. The Brian Wynn okay. box is 120 and the mega bundle is two eighty. Okay, oh. there we go. <clears throat> Sold, and we'll have them up Sold. on the. Uh, and if you order the mega bundle, the mega bundle is going to have the cute little uh, Captain Black and Odo the Dodo, the little two pack of critters by Jason Meeby, the little gnome pirate and his Dodo uh, animal companion. So, which I don't have here. Oh wait, not that you can really tell, but there he is. There's Odo the Dodo. Right there. Yeah, he's, he's cute. really cute. He's really cute. Or a little necklace. He's really cute. So those will be in the mega bundle. If you've ordered the mega bundle, he comes in that as a bonus. Um, if you want an Odo to the Dodo and Captain Black, uh, you can get those by themselves on ReaperMini.com when ReaperCon starts on September third. Yep. So and I'll I'll take them. I'll try to get some good pictures of those tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got lots of pictures to take. Lots of little things to to do. 
Here's Captain Black right here. Oh yeah, these Johnny called on you instantly. Yeah, I know. So bloody favoritism. Mm-hmm. Uh, Justin, you see these guys? Justin's not here. There you go. <laughs> no, I was typing. There you go. Where are anyway, you? Those guys are free with your mega bundle. But you can order more, or if you didn't get the mega bundle, you just want those two little guys, you can buy those separately there. Ed? See, that was quick. <clears throat> okay. Next week, you want to explain how uh, the items that we have packed, the sets and all that, they're going up. And also, excess items are going up, correct? Somebody's asking, is the book alone for sale? Things like that. Yeah. So all of that will go while supplies last. So, but that will uh, be sometime next week. Well, the, the, the box is going to sell next week. Um, we haven't had a, a date determined for the, the individual items, whether that would be September 3rd as well or uh, next week. So we now, see, I, Cindy was wanting to turn them on on like Monday or Tuesday. And I said, well, we got to be realistic about this. Let's, let's, let's look at Thursday or Friday. So I think maybe common sense set in. We'll see. We'll see. Whatever Cindy says. Sometime next week, yes, whatever Cindy says. She's the, one, she's the boss. Head of production. She can tell us when she wants them on or not. Wait for a text from her any moment now. Uh, not watching. Oh, she's not on? Yeah. Oh, oh. She told me and John to keep an eye on you guys. Yeah. So really? Next yeah. Week that she um, that if y'all try not. to release it, then we're to tell you to text her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, gosh. So, lots of cool stuff uh, to, uh, to enjoy. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I uh, appreciate Some it. Some questions from chat. So, this is a good question in chat. It says, will there be class kits to purchase for ReaperCon online? And I can answer this one really easily. Uh, so the way that it's going to work is that when the classes go up, which is going to be very soon, uh, there's going to be a register button and then a button that's right next to it that has your class items for it. So when you click that button, it's going to take you to our Reaper Mini website with all of the items that are tagged for that class. So this allows you to purchase them individually. So let's say you are you want to take an OSL class and you have 80% of the, of the materials already. Um, it, this will allow you to purchase the last materials that you don't have. Uh, so all you got to do is just hit add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, all the things that you want. Uh, if you want extras, you can do that too. Um, so that, that was just the easiest way that we found instead of creating these big bundles and having to create a bunch of um, more uh, kidding to make things to prepare for the classes and things like that. This just allows it for internet to pull them individually. Um, so that way, for all you people that have all of our paints and stuff already, and a lot of our minis, uh, you can just get the things that you don't have for your classes. So, yeah. John, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Thanks. He takes notes. That's why. <laughs> I need to take notes. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm being bullied. Help. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm the one being intimidated. <laughs> Um, label nuts still asking about replacement labels. Oh, uh, oh I said uh, oh. magic. Magic eight ball says unlikely. So everybody in chat that's asking about labels, I see that Graz and uh, Panzer Lagwagon asked this question about replacement labels for the old labels. Uh, I shook the magic eight ball and it says uh, outcome unlikely. I think is what is what is what it says. You have a magic um, eight ball. I do. That's how it I get all my, my answers. Damn. God damn it. <laughs> All right, Ron, I think he's, it's time for shirt time. Uh -oh. He's he's John, Dave. That's uh, that should answer everything. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh last week we showed you guys some of the shirts that we put up, the initial batch of um ReaperCon shirts, Reaper shirts. Uh and there were some really cool designs that we added uh over the last few days. So Gene <laughs> Gene, it's okay. Uh, Gene added some shirts, and then uh, Jason added another shirt, and they're really, really cool. So, uh, Justin, if you can pull up uh, that page, this is on T Public, and John can put I the, have the link, link in chat. There you go. And we'll it's take also a look on at screen if you would like to view it. Right there. Yes, it says my name, but <laughs> it's three many. Yeah, it's um, only going yeah. into Ron's yeah. PayPal. It's yeah, fine. it's only yeah. going directly into Ron's account, people. You guys don't worry about that, okay? Um, I'll take care of the small stuff. You just worry about the big stuff. <laughs> um, 
So right there off the top, these are the newest design. It's because it's sorted uh, by that. So on the top left, you can see the ReaperCon, the 70s groovy logo that Gene Van Horn did. He was kind of just uh, experimenting with, not experimenting, he was working on these other logos, and he really likes the 70s uh, style. So he just did a ReaperCon alternate logo. Um, like I said, hey, man, go back to that one, Justin. Go back to that, click on it. It says... Uh, Hey, man, check out this groovy new Reapercon alt logo by G-Man Horn. If your friends don't know what Reapercon is, tell them to sit on it. Oh. How seven oh, boy. How That's seven so cute. All right, so there's that. Okay, okay. whatever. Um, I wanted to point out that, Ron, Ron, you have a 4.3 star rating on Google customer reviews. Fantastic. I'm doing such a great job shipping these shirts out. Um then there's the uh, Reapercon 2020 Beach Bum Pirate Shirt. That's the middle top one. Um, Gene, uh, if Gene was on, he could tell you, but he was inspired by the 70s Ski Bum uh, look. So he designed that top middle one to look like that. Then Weeby did another Black Chum Rum Shirt, by Brian Wynn's Finest Kind. And then Gene did all these next three, the Rum Teeth Bay and the two Brian Wynn shirts. So, um, he They're designed the Rum... Brian. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, that's all right. Just I was going to say, they're all very Miami Vice. I, I feel like I need to be screaming down the road in a Ferrari. Intentionally, absolutely, very much so. Um, the Rum Feet Bay shirt, uh, she made especially for Adrian. She really wanted a shirt with that 80s kind of a uh, vibe to it. And then um, the Brian Wynn shoot shirts were um, at my request. So, yeah, Gene came through, and they, they kill. They're awesome. Justin, which one do you like? Uh, my favorites are probably this one. The Brian one, this one right here. Uh, hold on, there we got this one. And then uh, I think this is my second favorite right here. Yeah. Uh, I like These this are, black and white here. This. The Mermaids were by Christine Van Patten, and she did an awesome job on those. She did. Fantastic. Not that you're going to ask, but that would also be my favorite, is that black and white. <laughs> um, and then this you have the... Too. I like this one, Yeah. Too. Now, the Naughty Crank, by the way, is our best-selling shirt. Um Okay, Ron, question? Yeah. yeah. Who did the black chum rum with the shark jaws? Who did that design? We did all the black chum rum shirts, and he also did oh. the Naughty Crate. And the Parrot oh. and the Patch. Okay, the Parrot that's Parrot. my favorite. Yeah, I like all those. Um, Izzy did the Storm Chasers, Wicked Hand, Hell Runners, and uh, Marisaluth designs. So those are really cool. Um, and Christine did the... Uh, the mermaids, and you can even get the twenty. And Izzy did the the, the, the selfie shirt. Uh, you can get twenty nineteen shirts on here as well. You just go to the next page, and you can see all the shirts from last year too. There's some of those, and then yeah, see all the shirts. And you got to get a pizza dungeon shirt. Everyone needs a pizza dungeon shirt. Absolutely. So when you come to Pizza Dungeon here in Denton next year, or whenever it is, uh, you can wear your pizza next year. Shirt. <laughs> next year, okay, twenty twenty one. Yeah, lots of fun stuff there on T Public. Lots of fun stuff. John, how many shirts did you get? I Sorry. ordered eight. I ordered eight shirts. They're really cool. And some people have been ordering their stuff, and they've already gotten their stuff, right, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Justin has those pictures, and we'll show them. Uh, for, for anybody that doesn't know, it's not just shirts. You can get them as stickers, masks. Uh, I think you can put them on uh, mugs, I think, as well. Mug and a travel like a travel clothes top mug thing. Oh, okay. Nice. Really uh, nice. So I, you want to show the stickers off, Justin, first? Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I'm going to show these. This, oh. This is from uh, Coffee Nerdery Beer uh, in chat. This is These are the shirts that she has received. So she ordered them last Thursday and got them. This is the Naughty Kraken, like Ron said. This is the one that is selling the best, uh, the one in the middle. Uh, there's the faction that I am going with as well up at the top. So anybody that's joining ReaperCon, you get to choose a crew. Um, I'm joining the Wicked Hand. And then the beloved Pizza Dungeon shirt down there too. They look so good. They look a lot better in person. So, Or yeah. in this picture than on the – it, it kind of puts it in perspective from the website. The uh, Pizza Dungeon uh, shirt looks great on purple. Yeah. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. I agree. And, and then yeah. here's the stickers. Uh, stickers. Uh, masks, you know, one of our best-selling products on, on the T-Public side are masks right now. So um, They're doing nice. really, really good. Those look cool. Those turned out really great. Mm -hmm. um, and nice. your swag. You got all the faction. 
on your swag box, you're going to get a Drunken Mermaid uh, sticker in there. So um, if you want extras, you can order them off of a Tee Public. Oh, look how cute those are. Ah, I love so good. That. Super cute. Mm -hmm. All really, really right. great designs by, uh, by all these artists. So thanks, artists, for all these uh, cool graphics you guys did. Lots of fun. And there you go. I so, and by the way, some of those shirts are on sale mm -hmm. um, right now until for three days. So if you want to, if you want to get them at a discount, go order them and save a little bit of money. Now, is that and something you, you do, or does that these, this website just do that automatically, throw sales up? The website does it. We can't. We don't control that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think whenever you put up a, 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 a – I don't know the parameters, but it seems like whenever we put up a slew of new products, a few at a time, it will discount them. Uh, right automatically for the first three days, so it's it's nothing mm -hmm. I can control when I put them up. It just they just do that, which is a good incentive to get people oh. to go. Yeah, like we did last week when we put those up, we had a lot of people uh, buy shirts. So mm -hmm. um, they're really cool. And the Reaper crew, we all ordered shirt. I uh, got everyone's everyone's orders, and uh, we put them through the T Public site, and we'll be getting our shirts here pretty soon as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it? Uh, where is it? Oh, anyway, Achilles had a good idea. What about the drunken clever crow shirt? <laughs> well, that's up to uh, Gene well, and Proctor. Apparently, <laughs> Proctor would have to sober up long enough to be able to uh, <laughs> get drunk. <laughs> okay, I put the uh, I put the T Public uh, link in chat. Um, you want to go ahead and talk about your stuff, Dave? Sure, Justin, hit yes. it. Yes, hit it. Hit it. Hold on, I don't want to reveal the other things first. Unless you want to reveal those first. The, 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 the secondary pictures you sent me. Timing is everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it! Well, hold on. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Well, I mean... Bad you know. vaudeville. Do the first one, the thing. Yeah, there you go. All right, this is the new Reaper Studio that they're currently working on, and that is a picture of Justin's control room. So, as you can see, they're getting the roof on and they're getting the uh, the walls up for it. Mm -hmm. Coming along real nice to the left is the door. This is standing in the control room, looking out where we have the window that's going in there so you can see into the actual studio. So this is what Justin will see, assuming that it's all finished at some point. And uh, mm -hmm. I didn't have time to draw on the stick figures to show what a normal scene would look like, but I imagine there'll be small fires, trash everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like raccoons broke in, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a string quartet playing in the background. You with a big steering wheel trying to yes. slowly steer the studio. Yeah. And thankfully, this room is going to be soundproof. I am so thankful that it will be. So no one can hear you when you scream. Yes, when I am screaming <laughs> at, through the glass at you guys. <laughs> and he goes, what's, what's wrong? I can't hear you, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, a picture of the roof, but uh, this is we're actually having, to, yeah, hey, to bonus round. Uh, to the left is the door, and to the right would be the actual studio. This is where they're putting in the um, uh, the sprinkler system so that we're having Fire it installed. Sprinkler. Fire sprinkler. Fire sprinkler, Fire sprinkler. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So so we'll just have to turn that off whenever Justin decides to set the studio on fire and start, start playing music. And then... Mm -hmm. And then just walk away from it with sunglasses on, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, in a typical kind of Hollywood way, in a typical Miami Vice sort of way. We're <laughs> also going to all pitch in and give just get Justin one of those white sport coats from Miami Vice. To clarify, I do not want a white sport coat from Miami Vice. <laughs> please, please don't. <laughs> please don't, I don't know, don't man. Do this. Uh, Dave, it's white linen. Come on. It's white linen? Okay. Oh, All right. this again. Ron, that reminds me of that one time way back when, when you came into my office and had me Google that. You don't remember that? A white linen jacket? You know, that, no, a whole suit. A whole suit. Oh. That was, was the Matlock suit. Yeah, I think that's probably what it was in relation to. But Seer sucker. Yeah, that's the one. Sure. Yeah. Don Johnson never wore ear sucker on my eyes. <laughs> well, he could have. You don't know. You heard it first here on Reaper Live. We're going to dress Justin in one of those white linen coats, oh, and we'll have God. him on the show. Oh, <laughs> he can pull the sleeves. Up, he can pull the sleeves up a little bit. Have his sort of colored muscle yeah. man underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Stand there and say, "Book him, Daniel." 
<laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong end of the country, Dave. We're we're on the east coast. <laughs> he just wrote me. He said I had one in the eighties. It was a white linen blazer. I said I did too. In my uh, air band contest, I wore it and pushed up the sleeves with my purple tank top underneath it. And how did your air band do? Huh? We won. How did your air band do? Really? We, we got second place. I'm sorry. We got second place. We did uh, Night Ranger. When you close your eyes, we got second place. <laughs> the previous wow. year, the previous year we did stick too much time on my hands and we lost badly. So, oh. but we redeemed ourselves the next year. And then the third is year, is that what you call redeeming yourself? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, like old Night Ranger dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hey, by the way, remember hashtag free hashtag airbrush. Airbrush. Yep. Because mm -hmm. we're getting close. Hey, to Ron. Did you have a oh. mullet? Yeah. Did you have a mullet? Uh, well, it was called a cowboy cut back then, but. It was just normal back then because everybody had one, you know, party in the. Was it curly? Right. No, nah, I didn't curl mine. It was just. You, didn't curl mine. you can tell my hair is naturally curly anyway. So. Uh, oh. Tra Trash Raw was really pushing this Reaper hairbrush thing. Yeah, Reaper <laughs> hairbrush. Okay. I want it bad. Speaking yeah, this of hairbrush. Hold on, I think Dave still has something uh, something else to show off. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, speaking of Reaper hairbrush, that's a good sound. No, I think I, I said that for Ed to talk about. Okay, well, either oh, way. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, the, either way, put the picture up. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Yes, these are these pouches. Do you, well, I'd have a better picture of it. Do you, no, they're both the same. That's, no, that's that's what I sent. So that's what you yeah, get. That's yeah, that's embroidered. They're embroidered. <laughs> what this is is a pouch we're getting made that allows us to uh, – Put the actual airbrush in one side and then the extra needle in the other. And it's got a fold-over flap and it's going to be stitched. And we're getting those made right now. And so, uh, mm -hmm. anyway, that's the latest on the addition to the airbrush. That and we're waiting for instructions and parts. And so, there's the airbrush update. There you go. That's it. Or the, or, or the hairbrush update. Or the hairbrush update. Yeah, hairbrush. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the other Hi, thing is a, is a bit of a funny picture here. Yeah, Ron is just getting it. Hey, you want to go ahead and pre-check that before we show it in front of uh, no, four yeah, people? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, we don't okay. need any uh, any mess-ups here, Ron. Yeah, Ron. Go I ahead. like the surprise. <laughs> Do you? Do you? You like the Christmas kind of surprise? Okay. Uh, uh, and he was uh, pouchless. I said, yes, you are pouchless, Proctor. I'm sorry. Sackless. Pouchless, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, on his airbrush? Well, they yeah. haven't even had these made yet, and he's already. Oh my God! He I know. Just, he needs to, you would think that on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you could stay sober long enough to watch. <laughs> All right, let's let's put in the bet on how many errors we find in this one. Hold on, before okay. you open that, we have one more picture. Do you want actually? Do you want to save this for the end, Dave? Sure. It's up to you. This is, I assume, your contribution, right? This funny picture? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll save that to the end. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I, sent, I forgot what I sent you. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, All right Ron, let Ron. it roll. You're on. Right. I say zero mistakes on this one. This one's going to okay. be... Everybody, everybody put your guess in chat. No. I say two. I say two mistakes. Zero. Zero. No mistakes on this one. This one's going to be perfect. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put something special in this when I pull it back up. Wow, I'm guessing it's, it. I'm guessing it's all the wrong <laughs> materials. It's, it's a totally different box that yeah. got put in that box. That's what I'm guessing. It's Mail Dave's Drake way. said 42. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Oh, okay. This is cool. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, so this week we decided to put some bonus items into the hobby box. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't just decide that right now upon looking inside. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, all right. Well, first of all, you're going to get your your rinse cup, your Reaper brush cup, which is CUP cleaning utility pod. Right. Remember, friends don't let friends drink paint water. Please paint responsibly. Right. So you got your Reaper brush cup, and then we're throwing in the Reaper water bottle. Little travel bottle, mm -hmm. little little free. But we're gonna, just, you know, why? Just because. Just because. Just because. You're gonna get some air bubbles. We didn't have air bubbles. Oh, cool. Um, That's Reaper air. 
So this is cool. Now this wasn't advertised. Now, not all of these. How do we say this? <laughs> Roth roast. You're going to get a Roth roast in in your pre-ordered um, hobby box. Now, once they go on sale on reapermedia.com, this figure might change. But you're going to the the result is you're going to get a free bonus figure in your hobby box. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not advertised. The ones that go on sale on reapermedia.com may have a different. Figure. But the upshot is you're getting something free in your hobby box. So that was not advertised. That's a cool add-on. Um, you have the Reaper Live Triad, which is uh, mm. so silver, uh, drown nipple pink, and rose gold. Rose gold. Right? The Gorgeous. Rose, the, yep. <clears throat> the Reaper Live Triad. You're going to get a Pokey Tool. You need a Pokey Tool. Everybody needs a Pokey Tool. And a Pokey Tool? And a mm -hmm. Pokey Tool. But wait, Dang. there's more. There's but more. if you call now, <laughs> you're going to get some empty paint bottles. These are just handy little bottles for you to mix your own colors. You know, sometimes you mix a color on a palette and you, you wish, damn, I wish I'd mixed more of that because you can never get it back exactly the way you wanted it. This is going to let you mix it in large quantities and you'll always have it. So there you go. There's your your empty paint bottles. As, and um, it's filled with uh, Denton Air. So as Nomad Zeke said, if you inhale the Denton Air, it adds plus one to your painting ability. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the little box that's going to have your Reaper light. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh gosh. So cute. In a cute? Oh. And it's magnet. All right, so this has got a magnet on it. So it could come this little box, little cute little box. So if you're wondering what this is, this is your magnet light. Um, oh, cool. Check this out. This is your Velcro sure. patch. Mm -hmm. It's your not Velcro official patch. unless you have a patch. That's right. And... Um, these are nice. These turned out really, really good. Super clean looking yeah. woven. Those are really good. Dave, did you put, get the one I put on your desk? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm going to have it sewn on a hat. Okay. Would they also work as an eye patch, being a pirate thing? Mm -hmm. I think it you would. could sew it on your eye patch, yeah. sure, yeah. If you have the opposite kind of Velcro on your eye, yeah. It would just stick right there. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're Borg. <laughs> you're going to get a free figure carrying case, right? Mm -hmm. the, uh, the I'm not going to open it, but it's got the foam in it for you to carry your figures in. You need stuff to carry your figures in. Here you go. We're going to give that to you. And then the last thing, and the, well, actually, this is not the last thing. The ReaperCon paint set. This is the oh. one, right? And this has got uh, uh, Ashen Rose, Dead Rose, Big Top Red, Clockwork Brass, Desert Sky, Rattlesnake Leather, Reptilian Green, Briar Rose, Aquamarine Blue, Ghostly Moss, Corporeal Shadow, and Gothic Crimson. All those All pumped by oh. Sadie's department. Yeah. Is MSP color set number one. Don't ask us about number two yet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Ooh. there you go. And you're going to get um, your gift certificate in USD. Yeah. I'm covering right? Yeah. Good call. Um, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. So this thing costs $100. Right? right? This thing costs $99. You're getting 25 bucks back right off the bat. So, But if you, you call now. But wait, there's – exactly, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Color – this is a mixing palette. It's just a little laminated palette. You know, you can put your colors on there, mix it around, rinse it off. And it says right here on the side, it says – Clean after each use because it, it, you know, the paint. Some of this paint will stick to it. Um, so, yeah, just something for you to, to be able to carry around, slip it in a. Uh, oh, that's awesome. It, impress your really, friends. Yeah, Adrian came up with this and uh, it turned out really, really good. She did a good job on that. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. That's all the stuff that you're going to get in your in your hobby box. Like I said, stuff that you didn't know you're going to get, like the water bottle and the the Rothros mini for your pre-orders, and maybe some of the orders on. Com. But you'll get a bonus figure. That's the upshot of that. So yeah, and and see, no mistakes in that one. And you oh. get a free Ron, you get a free bonus Ron piece of Jetsam and Flotsam of some sort. So. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Can they pick it from the stuff in the background? Like could like uh, Spider. -Man? I like your Spider Man. Nope, nope, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. These are some paint swatches by Sadie herself. Oh! What do you think, Sadie? Are those still accurate? 
I think we changed it around, but they can have it. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, they're just swatches, right? I don't think they're, they're still just... accurate. I think we switched them between one and two. So you're going to need some non-accurate swatches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, you never know. Great you say fodder there. The air bubbles? We Getting didn't advertise air. them. These are free. That's like the golden ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, look what I got. I got, well, whatever. I got all kinds of stuff. So. Um, oh, yeah. Sadie, Sadie will have to sign those swatches. They're prototypes. I can if you want me to. I'll bring them down. Sadie, you can sign them up. There you go. So there's, man, that's a lot of cool stuff we showed today. Two down, you got one to go. Well, we did Rhonda's, or Rhonda did hers on her unboxing. We want people to go watch hers, so we're not going to unbox the swag oh, box. We're okay. going to let people to do that. And yeah, John's not going to get the in. And, what? Okay. I'm dead. What'd you say? There we go. Okay, whatever. Oh, no, um, no. I'll just, the link. All right. So, Justin. Yes. <laughs> um, Wake up. Are you ready for this stuff? <laughs> Your mic keeps cutting out a little bit. What'd you say? Are you ready to give away stuff? Uh, eh, you know, whatever. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Actually, before yes. we do that, I, I think we should show uh, Dave's funny picture. Oh, yeah, the meme. Mm -hmm. as, as everybody knows, I like memes, and so I collect a few of them and, and send them in for uh, Justin to show. Go ahead and put that up. There you go. For all you Evil Dead fans out there, absolutely. <laughs> I love Ash versus the Evil Dead. I saw this. I go, oh, okay. I got to. I got to capture that. <laughs> Good memes. That's, that's, yeah, it's a lot truer than you could imagine. Yeah. If you guys have memes, don't forget to send them to us. We love them. Yeah. Uh, put them, tag us on uh, Twitter. Put them in the Discord. Put them everywhere. You know. All right, now Justin. Go. All right, now we'll give away stuff. Do you guys want to do the gift uh, certificates first? Gift card first. All right, yeah. I yes. agree. Yeah. All righty. Got to build anticipation. Exactly. Yeah. So this, this is for the hashtag free people, right? Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Or the hashtag Justin wash my damn car. Either way. Oh, this right. again. Oh, this again. <laughs> as long as we socially distance. Yeah, that's true. Got to do that. Hit them with it. Oh, um, where do, actually, where do they send the question. memes? Everywhere. Uh, we have <laughs> a specific section. We have a specific section on the Discord called Memes and Funnies. You can tag it there. If you put it on our Facebook fan page, make sure you tag it as a meme uh, underneath a topic section. That way, it's easier to find. Um, you can tag me on. You can tag us on Twitter. Uh, tag Reaper Mini at Reaper Mini on Twitter. Um, those are pretty much the easiest places to do it. Hey, you want me, you want me right. to tell you all before we start? I've got all fifteen okay. ready, so when you're done, Ron. I've already told this joke on Reaper Live, but I think it's appropriate considering ReaperCon. Okay. So a slice of pie or a slice of apple pie is two dollars and fifty cents in Jamaica and three dollars in the Bahamas. These oh. are the pirates of the Caribbean. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that's a winner. He won with that's that. A, he won with that joke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he that's did. A, yeah. That's how you my my dentist and I exchange jokes every time I go and see her, and and I told her that joke. She thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I've go got a good joke for you when we do when we do ReaperCon live, uh, the actual in person ReaperCon in 2021. I've got a good joke for you. We're gonna have a joke off again when we do it live, Ron. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm yeah. ready. All right. All right. All right. Back to what people really want to see, which is free money. Let's go. Yeah. Our winners are uh, Future Trouble, Aeka 16, City Pig 1996, Steve Skeleton, uh, Lazoral, or Jazoral, one of the two, uh, D. Clearman, Anki 2014, Serenity Trek, Balrog John, TRG Steel, or Stee 1, I could steal though. Lurkus Spleen, Shadow Spawn the Assassin. Hey. hey your mic's up, John. Surrender It All, uh, Hager the Horrible, and Izzy Lobo. Hey. Hey. Oh. And hey, didn't congrats. They... Me too. Oh, Congratulations. I, made a, uh, yeah. I made a nice little command you guys can use. It's, uh, 
exclamation point, I won something, question mark. Mm -hmm. And uh, you type that in yeah. chat, guys, and it'll have all the information you need. Oh, gosh, that's Will that work? Long. That won't work when the, after when it's converted later on. They have to do it while the show's going. Uh, nope. That is just to see the like the information they need, which is uh, the email address, what they need to put in info wise, that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. So we don't have to say it every time. Correct. Because that that's really a pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like All you right. took my job. All right, Ron, give me a drum roll. <laughs> Outsourced right. by technology, what can you say? Mm. Yeah. Give me a drum roll, Ron. Now, now, wait a minute. They did we already tell them the dollar amount for the gift certificates that they yeah. won? I thought we, we said it was twenty dollars. Okay. Yeah, it is. Twenty yeah. bucks. Okay, okay, and that we're confirming you have to be present to win on the airbrush. Correct. So when I draw the entrant, uh, the the person who won here, uh, I will accept it, and then you'll have to type exclamation point claim in the chat, and it'll tell me when you claim it. Alrighty. Okay. And so how long do we give them? How long do we give them? Uh, a minute. Like, yeah, we'll minute. give them a minute. Yeah, we'll give them a minute. One minute. All, All right. right. Maybe. 30 seconds. Everyone gather around. Gather around. Gather around. Okay. As we cast the die. Our winner is Celtic Boar 13. Hey! hey. Mm. All right. Well, I Celtic mean, he hasn't Boar. won it yet. Yeah, you got to <laughs> yeah. claim it. Remember he Celtic Boar 13, he or she. Uh, exclamation point claim. There we go. There it is. Claimed. There it is. All right. There you Yay. go. There it is. Congratulations. 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 There we go. And 16.3 seconds. That's pretty fast. That's pretty uh, good. But remember, keep in mind that that will probably ship out along with the last five. Uh, it's just Next probably three, easier yeah. to ship them all, all at the same time once we get that information. So keep that in mind. Because Ron's making some incredible presentation art for it. So, mm -hmm. so Cindy, on... Cindy's making the art as well. And we do plan on giving away some more airbrushes next week, so or in the future One. weeks. I, I won't say, yeah, I won't say next week. So stay tuned. Whoa, stay weeks. tuned. You never know when we're going to give it yeah. away. So. Well, hey, congratulations to everyone. Uh -huh. uh, let everyone know what the price is. We talked about the price last week and when we're going to release these. Ed? Oh, again? It's one ninety nine is the price, <laughs> and they will be releasing at ReaperCon as a pre-release during the show. And then after that, they'll be releasing to the general public later in September, later in that month. So they will be out to everybody in September, but they'll also be on sale during ReaperCon early. Mm -hmm. So, Justin, you need to put one of those bots in so Ed doesn't have to say that each time. Yeah. <laughs> so you can outsource uh, the technology. So right. was that, did I do well? Did that work? You, you, did, you did fine. Come also, on, Dad, give Celtic Board. Celtic Boar in the email, make sure you specify which cup size you would like, if you want a B or a D cup. Mm -hmm. Also, right. what size you want the cup to be on the airbrush. Yeah, yeah, and oh. the airbrush, too. Um, oh, hey. What is uh, that? Since it's for Xandercles, 100 bits. Is that how you pronounce yeah. that name? Xandercles. Xandercles. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Xandercles. Thank you for the bits. Thanks, Xandercles. Thanks for the bits. Uh, while we're about to sign off, I just want to say uh, – Tomorrow during Reaper Land is going to be pretty exciting. We're going to be discussing some a cool new a cool new thing that is happening uh, in the community. It's going to be very exciting. So if you guys want to help us with that and talk about that tomorrow, we'll be we'll be going over that tomorrow. So okay, we have a couple of uh, promotional things I want to go over here. Um, I'm about to put the schedule. In fact, you know what? I'll go ahead and put the schedule up here. So this is so everyone can see it. It should be in the offline screen, and I believe it's below the stream as well, unless it broke again which I'll, I'll check that um, so this is all of our classes during the week here pretty soon we should be adding uh, our Luca our special Luca show on Wednesday afternoon that'll also be at 3 p.m. kind of like the rest of the time slots um, but for right now it's it is not uh, scheduled so this is all of our shows during the week I think that the special thing going on this next Tuesday would be during Proctor's show where he will be completely demoing and painting something with the Reaper Vex airbrush with guest star Rhonda Bender, who apparently who has never mm. touched an airbrush or never used one. So he's yeah. gonna be uh, he's gonna be showing her some some fun fancy tricks. And he's gonna be doing it with the Vex. So if you guys want to see the Vex, come out and see that. Nice. Cool. I would I would definitely That'd do that. Great. Does someone want to do a quick rundown of uh, what's on the schedule here? Um 
Uh, I can. Uh, Luca, Luca's off this week. That's why he's not going to be on this week. Uh, he's actually taking a private lesson from last year's Crystal Brush winner. So he's actually taking a week-long kind of class for that. Um, so every day this every day of the week, we have Anne in the morning. And then starting from Monday, we have Miniatures Monday, which is going to be starting the next kit, uh, which is the Undead kit, which is available now on our website. Uh, he's going to be starting, I think, the the Dust Devil or the Lich King, the Lich the Lich King model is going to be starting up this next coming up Monday. So go ahead and get your order in as fast as possible. Uh, and then on Tuesday we have the Crow's Nest. What, like Justin said, he's going to be demoing the Vex Airbrush along with Rhonda Bender. Uh, Wednesday afternoon we have nothing slotted right now, but uh, Miniatures Den's Untitled Show. We still don't have a title for that. So if you guys have any good ideas for titles for that, head on over to the Discord or or tag us on stuff and tell us if you guys have any good ideas for that. Um, Painting Platinum with Miss Mercedes here uh, at 3 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, that happened earlier today, along with the little-known show, Reaper Live, which is happening right now. Welcome. And then on Friday, we have Reaper Land tomorrow uh, at 3 p.m. Central with me and me and Brother Dave, not, a, not ordained. And then every other Friday, we have Reaper Errant, which is our D&D game with artist and special... DM host uh, Nightheart Gaming, and then the first and third Fridays of every month, we have Bones 5 Live with Ron and special guests, random artists, uh, maybe showcasing special special artists from the Kickstarter or just other special guests for the Kickstarter. That's, That's cool. tomorrow. That's that is. Tomorrow. Uh, that is tomorrow. Are you ready, Ron? Yeah, we have a huge announcement tomorrow. Ooh, oh, we do? Yep, we do. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Sometimes it's like I lo- physically I lo- big. I love producing these shows sometimes. <laughs> um, that being and said, it- also, I'm sorry, one more thing real quick, because this is a part of our raid before we kind of go around the round table here and have everyone sign off. We're going to be raiding, uh, tonight we're going to be raiding Nightheart because they're going to be doing some fun special stuff, I believe, that's based on Greek mythos uh, for D&D. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he didn't give me much beyond that. But I believe they're not starting till 7.30, so we're going to raid you into their channel. It may likely be offline right now, but it'll be back online within 10, 15 minutes. So give them a little bit of time. I promise you guys will want to watch it. Tell Frank we said hi. And uh, spread the Reaper love and keep being awesome. Go ahead, Ron. Oh, anyway, yeah, we have a big announcement tomorrow on the show. Uh, we're going to show a bunch of cool stuff, but um, some big information. We're gonna, you're all going to want to hear. So, tune in to the Bones Five Live update tomorrow. Um, nice. The, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, what? I said nice. What oh, okay. Um, the Miniature Monday kit, uh, the one we just put up um, like two days ago. Um, it's out of stock right now on the website. We are making more. Uh, they should be on soon. I don't know exactly when. We're just waiting on uh, something to show up, and then we'll have more put up on the website. There should be there should be some more tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay. So, yeah, just hang in there just a little bit. Um, the one that just went up is super cool. Uh, and then the one that Josh is going to do for September is, like, like uh, John said earlier, it's got the, the ReaperCon selfie in it. And some other. What else is in there, John? Do you know off the top of your head? Uh, it has two kelpies. Um, it has the Tilk Warrior, I think, or Teak Warrior. Um, Tilk. Um, teak Champion. It's the teak there champion. you go. The Teak Champion. That's right. And then our very own Pirate Sophie uh, for this year's ReaperCon. So yeah. that kit will be debuting actually on ReaperCon, where he'll be painting Pirate Con or ReaperCon Sophie. So. So if you get ReaperCon Sophie in your swag box and you're kind of curious as to how you want to paint her, check out Miniature Monday. With Josh on the, uh, I guess that'll be seventh, right? And seventh. he will show you, he will show you a fast, cool, and easy way to paint uh, Reprocon Sophie. So, uh, we've seen the results of the one he's painted, and um, it's cool. It's going to be really, it's really good. So you guys should check that out. Make sure to check out Miniature Monday every Monday, as well as all the other shows on uh, Reaper Live Twitch thing, whatever it's called. Yes, Ed. Dan Goodchild asked if we have a closing date for the pledge manager. Uh, that was discussed t- today. T- tomorrow, you're going to find out. You're going to go ahead and tell him tomorrow, then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow. Really? That's what I love. Yes. Yeah. That's what he was guessing. That's what he was just trying to guess and see if he could pull it out, and he did. He was successful. Well, we don't yeah, know if wow. that's the big news or not. I thought we were getting a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cindy gets to choose the kitty when it happens. Oh well. Hmm. Okay. Uh, next, right. get this raider. Get this raider rolling. <laughs> Go ahead, Sadie. Now she's, she's upset. Oh, I don't uh, have anything new. All right. 
But uh, we love you. Be safe. Thank you, Sadie. John? Uh, see you tomorrow. Reaper land. Be there, be square. All right, Dave? Mm -hmm. uh, take care of yourself, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. On that note, I'll actually hit the button because I don't trust to hit it before you guys because you'll just uh, <laughs> take too long. Um, All right. Thank you guys very much. Tell Frank at Nightheart and Ann that we, we said uh, hi. Stay and, safe. Uh, stay safe. Yes, that's important. Keep being awesome, and we love you guys. See ya. See you tomorrow. Bye.